all over the channel. So we'll be starting a new session where we will be like login, sign in screen along with register or sign up screen and we'll like put up an additional screen for forget password. So just go ahead and clone it and just do an npm install and try to use it. But I would advise you to create a new repo. Uh, sorry, new build like this and get inside the directory and do npm install. Now, let me just show you how it's done. So, this is my clone repo and this is my new repo. So, just copy this and paste it here. Now, it has already been installed. And I just went ahead and copied this app components and all the files inside it right here. Now let me just copy the files in app.js. And look at the imports. So we have been importing status bar right here. And also stack navigator. So this will be home. And we have hidden the header. And I probably will be moving from home, login, register, forget password, and boiler. So we are first moving into login. So let's check it. Login. Inside it. Now, there have been many changes, like keyboard avoiding view, and async storage image maybe touchable opacity too we have imported stack navigator so i've added this working.png and let's just copy it so from login home we'll be moving to login screen register forget password let's just check it so here will be our login screen right here and this is register and this is forget password and from login screen we'll be going to view one keyword averting view and touchable opacity so let's check it so in view one we have logo and subtext which is just doing nothing but taking logo right here from band.png and we have added omdom as a text now, as we don't want our fields to be running within the keyboard, so we'll be using keyboard avoiding view. And within it, we have text input for email. So, it's right here. And from on change, set email, set state dot email. So, on change text, that is if we enter a field, the state way of the email will be changed, which we have defined as blank right here. And then, next goes cursor to next input field so return key type is next and on submit heading we'll be moving password input to focus so it will move to the field right here and on submit editing focus to password input so this dot password input goes to input and this return key type is go and after that uh, on change says state dot pass that is we have set the state dot password here right here and right here next the next as it's in go the keyboard is hidden now in touchable opacity we'll be moving to on login press which is right here so let's check it now as we'll be saving it locally as async storage for email and password and then navigating to boiler we have assigned it as async and we have imported it right here now we'll be defining possible opacity for register navigation and for the password navigation so let's check register navigation now we have had a changes right here and right here and we have added email name password and password confirmation instead of just email and password in login and we have 
is the error. What seems like we are showing the nav nav bar cause. We want to navigate from sign up page to sign in page. Now let's check the render. Now render is going to be almost the same as login. We will be showing logo and subtext, which is right here. And in now we'll be showing register form for system for change text. So it's right here. We will be focusing on set state and email input focus and after it has reached password confirmation from this and we'll be changing this password input equals to input and then the keyboard will hide out next on register press we are binding this touchable highlight so let's check it where we have used the same idea as in login where we have Stored the email and password. Sorry, it's the name. And then we are navigating to boiler. Same as that in login screen. Navigate to boiler, navigate to boiler. Login.js. The user may go inside forget password and navigate to forget password. So let's check it. Forget password. And we have had not much changes because we weren't storing any files locally. The set state dot sorry set state the email value on login press navigate to login home. So let's check it. So we'll be setting state where we'll just check an email and then in touchable opacity we're binding on forget press which will navigate us to login. So next we'll be checking the map. Now here's the map. So in login screen there will be three views B1. Keyboard avoiding view and touchable opacity where this one is view one, this one is keyboard avoiding view, and these are the remaining touchable opacity. So let me just check it. And on next, we'll be navigating to password. So it's done. And now let's move into sign up. Here we'll be just in We'll be just going inside this, and here, as we have not hidden the nav bar, we can navigate back. And let's check for the password too. And right here, now, as I haven't defined any asterisks for input, so we may navigate to boiler by pressing the login. And I'll see you in the next session.